before we continue um, go back into your manifest your permissions and add this admin permission um, you may have got an error because in the last one because of that so add that in uh, next thing we want to do is we want to check that if any of the discovered devices are already paired by our phone so we're going to do this in discovery finish so when this happens what we want to do is we want to cycle through our list adapter and check it against uh, the other list we made and in order to do that I'm just going to make the text exactly the same that way life's easier for everyone so in here first check if list adapter has got items in it list adapter dot get count is greater than zero for int i equals zero i is less than list adapter dot get count i plus plus so we cycle through the list adapter and as we do so we want to cycle through the paired devices for every one and check if it equals it. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a lot more efficient ways of doing this but unless you've got hundreds of things you know paired to your phone it shouldn't be a problem. For int a equals zero i is less than sorry a is less than paired devices dot size I don't understand why this is get count and this one's size it seems a bit niggly for them all would be quite different if uh, list adapter dot get item i dot equals paired devices dot paired devices dot oh sorry get a so if this item that we loop through here is equal to the item here we want to add append on and then we want to break out of the for loop and continue to cut there so because I was having a few problems um, I think what I was doing is as I was inserting into the list it was getting bigger or something I I don't really know what was going on but I'm going to cut this and instead of on discovery finished I'm going to chuck it into whenever we find a new device so whenever we find a new device I want to cycle through the, the current paired devices and um, before I append that there I'm going to make a string called s s equals and we're just going to append that on there actually we'll do it here put into brackets so what that should do is if we get a, something like um, mat.hp and then it should come up with paired you know if if it's paired and then we'll check for that later so if device device dot get name equals paired device dot get a uh, once again we'll go back here and get rid of that so if this device here name is equal to paired devices anywhere uh, we're gonna 
go ahead and make s equal to paired and then sorry that was just something I was debugging before and then we'll break else do nothing so boom it's looking good I'm going to quickly run this to make sure there's no mistakes loading that's good uh, I don't want to chuck them in actually that's a mistake I'll chuck them in up here alright that's good so later on we can um, check for that paired statement in the, in the name and if it contains it in fact let's do that now so on item click if I'm getting confused with all the arrays here that's my problem um, list adapter if list adapter dot get item arg2 dot contains if it contains what what did it contain paired in fact we'll just put paired like that um, let's just do a wee test toast dot make text get application context device is paired duration zero else device is not paired run that um, you should be well if you can test along with me run run your device and just check you haven't made any mistakes All right. that's beautiful that's working fine now what we can do no I'll move on